Yeah, Lady Shets and Teddy Bears, welcome to a very bright and early RAF Lake and Eve. Here we go. Ted Coningsby Channel bringing you live military aviation no matter what the time. At the moment, we're surviving the weather, so um, we'll see how long we go. Welcome. Wind is very brutal, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. I hope you're all good and safe wherever you are in the world. My name's Nick Off, so I'll be doing my introductions very shortly. But here we are, 48 Fighter Wing, already moving. Welcome to RAF Lake and Eve, ladies and gents, Teddy Bears, home of the F-15E Strike Eagle and the F-35A with four combat ready squadrons, 492nd Fighter Squadron, the 493rd Fighter Squadron, the 494th Fighter Squadron and the 495th Fighter Squadron. Make it the home of Statue of Liberty Wing. That's right, the 48th Fighter Wing is the only wing with a name, the, the Statue of Liberty Wing. Very good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening, wherever you're watching from around the world. How you doing? Welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel. Uh, today we're live here at RAF Lake and Eve. How are we all doing? And we're going to start off things with the F-35A Lightning II. Hope we're all good. Getting settled in. Grab a coffee, grab a drink, grab whatever you need. It's F-35 with your breakfast, dinner or lunch.
be out here, so I'll try my best to keep it steady. All over to you already, Eddie! <laughs> oh man, yeah, today is going to be one of those challenging days for me, for those that know. Yeah, it's going to be one of them. I nearly, nearly, I did change the timing to 11, I thought, nah, and then these guys started up. I was thinking, yeah, let's go. C17 video bomb, absolutely. Oh, you know, you're doing span of flight. Very good morning. Hope we're all good. I haven't even had a chance to introduce myself, but you know, I'll be on there in a second. Let's ride. Very good morning, Rebecca. Oh, again. Davey, oi oi, Mayhem Marshy, thanks for, uh, thanks for what you do, it means a lot to the channel, thank you for keeping it sweet and neat. Thanks for joining us, Julie, Dave Holloway, Jonathan McDee, Richard Brown, oi oi, Gaz Russell, oi oi, bit of Stroney, how you doing? The Plane Spotter, how you doing? All right there now, RAF Charlie, how you doing? Going, oi oi. Freddie Dutch, Daniel Borker, oi oi. How are we all doing? Hope we're all good. RB Photography, oi oi from Switzerland. How you doing? For the flight, how's it going? Random channel, how you doing? Oi oi to you. Very good morning. Very bright and early morning here now. And a very good morning to everyone that's tuned in. RSVP, yeah. How you doing, Sharky? Very good morning. Thanks for tuning in to the Ted Coningsby channel. We're here live at the Statue of Liberty wing. Oh, yeah. Squadrons that fly the F-35A are the 493rd Fighter Squadron, the Grim Reapers, and of course the 495th Fighter Squadron, the Valkyries, who were deactivated for 30 years from uh, 1977 to 1991. The 495th Fighter Squadron were here at Lake and Eve with the F-111 Aardvark with a green tail flash. And they uh, said goodbye to the F-111s as it started to uh, retire the F-111s transition. So the squadron was deactivated in 1991, but they came back in 2021, ladies, shirts, teddy bears, and they came back as the Valkyries and flying the F-35A, making them the first F-35A wing of the United States Air Force in Europe. Here they are. Oi, oi, Australia. Oi, oi, Netherlands. Oi, oi, Scotland. Oi, oi, Switzerland. How are we all doing?
very windy here at RAF Lakeney. We're just about hanging in there. Absolutely, let's ride. That's how we do it. Military aviation photographs, let's ride. <laughs> Love it, you know how we do it. Welcome to the Ted Konigsby channel. Don't forget to start hitting that like button, ladies, and teddy bears. Hit the like button, it does have a major impact on our channel, as you know. Our last stream here got over 2,000 likes, ladies, and teddy bears. Over 40,000 views, which 
the Ted Koenig Street channel, let's face it, is climbing and climbing and climbing. And we'd love for you to support us and join us on this wonderful military aviation channel filled with fun. And it's a fun military aviation channel with a little bit of seriousness as well, as you know how we do it on the Ted Connors Beat channel. Enjoy and ride. Hit the like button. Like I said, it's free to do so. With, you know, I've always said that. It's free to like. It's free to subscribe. Join us. It makes a major impact on the channel. Joining us and supporting us, you can watch and make YouTube history as the channel that, with the bear that wanted to fly, well, he's flown and our channel is flying. Hitting the like button will have a major impact. It's not like a Facebook or a U uh, Instagram post, for example. YouTube actually uh, recognizes that the uh, like button has been smashed and so therefore it will get recommended. Recommended streams means more exposure. A lot of people are now new people, new members, new viewers are finding our channel now through recommended and up next. And this is all to do with the like button, we believe anyway. Well, whatever it is we're doing, it's working. Might as well keep that up. Hitting the like button will get YouTube to recommend the stream. If we get recommended, that means more exposure. More exposure? Well, that means potentially, hopefully, more viewers. And more viewers could lead to more subscribers. Now, when our channel grows with more subscribers, that allows us to get more views, making our channel bigger and better, allowing me to be able to get bigger and better equipment, like, for example, trying to do my best to give you 4K streams. Hugh, LC, Christine Barnes, oi oi. There's Daniel Walker, Colin Scrim, how's it going? Oi oi. Dave Holloway, how you doing? Oi oi. It's a bit windy, so I'm trying my best. It's blowing straight at me. to Wales. I forgot Wales. Rebecca, how you doing? Bex, oi oi. <laughs> Netherlands, oi oi. Scotland, how are you doing? Margot Baxter, oi oi. <laughs> we've got Swindon, we've got Australia. Conic Speed Channel live here at RF Lake and Eve. How are we doing? Enjoy the military aviation that we all love. Nick Ward. 
Lord, how you doing, man? LEJ approach, good, good morning, oi oi to Germany, oi oi. Paul Burrows, oi oi. Rotones, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Stephen Park in Ashley Mayer. Richard Barnes, as all going, ladies and gentlemen, Bear. So the uh, F85 is just waiting for, could be a number of reasons, by the way. Uh, even just starting up an engine of an aircraft, uh, whether civilian or military, needs clearance before it departs. They will be using what's called the ground frequency from tower. Every stage of from uh, startup to taxi to departure has different frequencies around any airport. Could be a Gatwick Heathrow, uh, civilian, anywhere in the world. They will, uh, you know, even LA, anywhere, any airport. They will have a ground frequency, then a tower, etc., etc. Um, so clearance will need to be made uh, for the startup. Once uh, startups confirmed, uh, they'll get their uh, departure details, etc. But uh, they'll get a uh, taxi clearance to a holding point. But the reason why the F-35 could be waiting here could be for a number of reasons. Uh, they could be waiting for an another fellow F-35 in the flight. Uh, there could be an issue with the aircraft. There could be traffic in the skies. Uh, the flight plan, there may be an issue where they're going. It could be air to air refueling and they're waiting for a tanker. It could be absolutely anything. Maybe the uh, F 35 that it's waiting for has an issue, so they're just waiting for a spare. Any of those reasons, it could be any of those. And of course, if the, uh, the existing, say for example, this was going to carry out air to air refueling as part of the uh, program for the flight today and the training. Uh, if that's scrapped and then the pilots think, I oh, know, we'll go somewhere else. This, the military jets can't go, uh, aircraft can't go anywhere they want. It all needs clearance. Uh, so Tau will make all the relevant phone calls to create a new flight plan. One does not simply just fly wherever they want. <laughs> New Zealand in the house, oi oi! Doc Dutch, thank you, oi oi!
thanks everyone for the super chats, super stickers. And of course, those who have hit milestones, you will be rewarded with a shout out, Guards March. Unfortunately, it will be without a beret. Oh, it's no weather, it's no beret weather today. Bless POV, Ted's favourite aircraft is the Typhoon. Wherever you're watching, I hope you're good and safe and well wherever you are. This weather is absolutely emotional. If it ain't raining, it's blowing a gust. We got gust and winds of about 38 miles per hour at the moment. And later on, it's looking like the wind is gonna get to about 45 miles per hour. Speed Channel live here at RAF Lake and Eve for United States Air Force and Europe Base. Oh, yeah.
Luca Maiden, how you doing? And Hendrix, how you doing? Fabs, how you doing, girl? Hope you're good. Rene de Goy. Paul Burrows, oi, oi. Hope you're good. You alright, man? It's gonna get emotional later. Rain. No. Yeah. I can see it all the way down there. <laughs> Yeah, Eric, <laughs> my friend, the rain is coming. Hopefully I can get these guards' marches done before then, but we'll take a little bit of cover. It could be uh, could be a, uh, a quick spell of rain, that's fine. Watching the Ted Connie Speed channel live here at RAF Lake and Eve. How are we all doing? So we've had uh, a good handful of uh, F35As to the park. We've got two more and potentially even more coming as well. Spate, welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel. Babzar, thank you for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Dave Holloway, member for four months, another month gone, the best community ever. Thanks so much for your four month service. Julie, member for nine months, absolutely love the stream. Richard Barnes, member for 11 months. Vulcan, Big Devalian. Margot, good morning, TCS and RF Lake and E. Thank you, Margot, for the super chat. Uh, Freddie Dutch has just got. Uh, 
12 months on this great channel. Well done, congratulations on 12 months service, that's so cool. Jonathan McDee with the super chat for some Scottish salmon. Bill Ted's pat lunches this week, thank you very much. Margot with another super chat, thank you so much Margot. And Jonathan McDee gifting a Ted Connorsby membership as well. Here we go. Savage out here, I'll tell you that. Just had them. Right. John Spate, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Guards March. Thank you very much. Gifted a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you so much. Thank you, Guards March. Without a ferry. Dave Holloway, member for four months, Guards March. Julie, member for nine months, Guards March. Thank you for being a member for nine months. Absolutely love this stream. Uh, Dave Holloway, sorry, another month gone, the best community ever. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Richard Barnes, member for 11, 11 months. Vulcan Victor Valiant, Guards March. Thank you so much. Well done for 11 months. Margot Baxter, good morning, TCS and RAF Lake and Eve. 
Good morning to you. Thank you for the super chat, Guards March. 12 months loyal service with the Ted Connorsby channel. Uh, that's Freddie Dutch, 12 months on this great channel. Thank you very much. Jonathan McDee for some Scottish salmon to fill Ted's pat lunches this week. Thank you very much for the super chat, man. That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. Ted loved that. Uh, Margot Baxter, towards Ted's new windbreak. I think it, the, the windbreak will break at this rate, Margot. Thank you. Oh my goodness, mate. I might even have to take my, my hat off, Ted. Guards March, Jonathan McDee gifting a Ted Connorsby membership. Thank you very much. Martin Skeet, member for seven months. All your TCS, hold on tight. Will do, man. Johnny Pass, Guards March for you. Thank you for the super chat, man. Thank you. Uh, Nigel Bullen, member for five months. Oi, oi, nearly at the six. Thank you very much. You are channel. Morning, Ted, Nikos, Spanner Flight, and all of the TCS members. Guards March, thank you very much. Aussie Crypto, welcome to the Ted Connorsby Squadron. Guards March for you. Thank you for being our latest and greatest member. Thank you very much. And Synchro Tones for braving the weather for Spanner's hard work today, for being awesome. Guards March for you. Thank you very much. Actually, I think I can feel the rain now. Thanks, Synchro Tones. Right, let's get some uh, rain cover. It's gonna be emotional. Huh? It's gonna be emotional. Here we go. Right, where'd I put that rain cover? Oh, right, it's gonna be a little bit rough at the minute, but hey. Story of my life, story of the streams. No, not all day. Just, just for about an hour and a bit, but let's see how it goes. Right, that should be okay. Right. Level
we doing? Oh, is it? I was wondering, yeah, I thought you'd all be back at school. See how we get on. We'll see how we go. I'll see how I can, how long I can last. Charlie, now. Point Charlie, just to our right. Yeah, just be, just over the trees. Let's see how we get on, ladies. Chance the teddy bears. Hope we're all good. I'll do my best. It'd be a little bit basic. The uh, the footage. Just trying to keep dry and all the kick dry. So we'll be all right. That is rough, isn't it? <laughs> How are we doing, ladies, gents, teddy bears? We're just hanging in there for a bit, see how long we can go for. doing lady shed steady bears hope we're all good it's gonna be a little bit emotional a little bit rough Speed Channel live here at RAF Lake and Eve with a little bit of a soggy Lake and Eve at the there moment.
battery now, one sec. Ladies and gents, teddy bears. I hope you're all dry wherever you are watching anyway. Because that is uh, pretty rough out here, man. as well there we go let's uh let's try and turn it away i don't even know what you're what you're viewing at the minute oh just some cars that's fine i've just got it on here for a minute point it away from the uh from the rain it gives me a chance to try this up a little bit Ted's not impressed with this. Apologies for the uh, screen at the minute because uh, the uh, the rain is just going straight on the uh, on the lens. So for now, I'll just keep it dry as pie, just aiming it this way. It's got a little bit of a spell. We should be all well. Uh, what I can see. The funny thing is about Lake Eney, you can actually kind of get a prediction of what's coming. So it's uh, it's kind of good in a way. You do get a little bit of a warning.
there. The lens are almost dry as pie, actually, which is pretty cool. I'll just get rid of all these little extra bits. Yep, should be all right. I'm hoping we're going to be all right with this. But of course, if there are lightning strikes, uh, I'll be uh, terminating straight away. <laughs> Don't want to be up here. I haven't even been on the stream yet, but uh, I can see some clear skies ahead. So let's hope it comes soon. Ted Coningsby Channel doing our best to bring you live military aviation, no matter what the weather at the moment. But I've always thought, you know, if you want to learn how to stream or do anything, any, and not just stream, just if you want to learn how to do something in the rough, then you do it in the rough. <laughs> That's the way. No point being at home and practicing something. If you you know if you're if you want to practice for bad weather, go for it. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, these are the challenges, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. These are the challenges, and you know what. If anyone tuned in at the very beginning of the stream going, oh, what a nice day. Nah, <laughs> it can all change very quickly. So it looks dry at Mildenhall now. So that's about five and a half miles away. The backwards crow flies. Woo. Shouldn't be too long with this rain, I think. I think we're going to get another spell at some point. Let me just get this little bit out here now. There we go. Should be a bit better. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Bears. Thanks, everyone, for being uh, patient with all this. Um, <laughs> it's not the nicest weather at all, I can tell you that much. It's proper rough. Apologies for the screen turning this way. Just to keep it off the... Uh, get the rain off the lens, otherwise it's a losing battle. But... Uh, if it's going to be temporary like this, then I think I should be able to manage it for the rest of the day. It looks like from 11 o'clock, it's weather from the Bahamas, so I'm looking forward to that. But that, that seems like a long way away. <laughs> but uh, there are F-15E Strike Eagle startups as well, believe it or not. But uh, I'm hearing words from Coldplay. Nobody said it was easy. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> gotta keep smiling. Yeah. It's just water, he said. It's just rain, he said. <laughs> uh, for those. Oh, that hurt. Oh. <laughs> I've had hail in the face before like that. That was a good one.
man. Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Lake in Heath and it's absolutely soggy, it's stormy weathers and we've got two more uh, F-35 still airborne at the moment um, we're hanging in there, we're going to try and ride this, we're going to try and let's ride in the rain we're riding in the rain so anyway, uh, moving on, um, I have heard some, ouch <laughs> got some hail, oh yeah, give me some hailstone in the face, why not um, <laughs> <laughs> I have heard some F-15 started up, so uh, this could be interesting. Oi, oi! <laughs> Thank you for the wave. So, uh, yeah, a bit wet out here, but uh, I'm going to see if I can hang in there because I'm not sure what sky that is. There's grey. Oh, was that a bit of lightning? Ouch. Very, very frightening. Um, our last F-35. Um, again, uh, just apologies for the quality at the minute. Um, I am using almost like, well, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not the easiest one I'm doing right now. Lovely. 
play. Now, keeping the, uh, the action a little bit sweet and neat, uh, just to get, just to keep some of the kit. It's just the spray on the uh, lens, everything else is dry as pie, but uh, should do it. So if you're right with that, then we should be okay. I'll see how long I can do this for. Just getting all the rain off the lens. Ted's safe, by the way. He's all good. So I believe that's all of it. So yeah, if you just tuned in, Ted Coningsby Channel live here. <laughs> very, very, so oh, it actually looks worse. Yeah, that's worse. Oh dear. Dave Bins, Troy, oi, Liam Mitchell, oi, oi, how's it all going? Davey, you alright man? JD, Pat Murphy, how's it going? Hope everyone's alright, gonna keep going and see how long I can go for. And this is why I decided to not spike my hair anymore for the, for the, uh, for the time being. It's just getting trashed. That's that. Anyway, let's see. Let's see what we got. I'm thinking of a nice hot bath and a hot cup of tea. Mind you, I could do a hot cup of tea right now. Oh yeah, imagine that. Imagine that, yeah? Um, hot tub streaming, like from the hot tub. Mm, nah, doesn't sound quite right. Being wet and then wet again, nah. Try and keep warm and dry as best as I can. Kit is fine. For those concerned about the kit, the kit's fine. It's dry as pie. Just a few splashes here and there. But uh, all the electricals, as far as I can see, are a okay. Oh my gosh. Reports of lightning warning here. <laughs> okay. Uh, um.
So yeah, Lady Chester City Bear, it's not the most desirable fixed uh, shot that I've got at the minute. But don't worry, nevertheless. Should be alright. Thanks everyone who's concerned, thank you very much. Well, let's if they're still if they're taking off. Because I know for a fact that if um, if there is lightning in the area, the aircraft won't take off. The fact that they are is a good sign. So I will go with that. If there's lightning in the area and they're airborne, they will get them back, which is what we've just seen. So let me just see what these F-15s are doing. If they're cancelling them, then I will I will cancel it as well. That that sounds that sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty wise. There were F-15s due to go out, so if they're cancelling them due to the lightning, then I will do the same. Playing a little game, I guess the colour of the car going past, no worries. Ted Connings View Channel live just about <laughs> hanging in there in this absolutely grim weather. I hope uh, the, the sun comes later on, dries us out. Uh, I'm just trying to listen out, see if there's any, uh, if they've cancelled those F-15s then um, then we will do the same. Just give me a, I'm just trying to listen in on the radio, alright, give me a sec. Hold tight, oh, uh, that's not, that won't be it for the day though, we'll be here all day, we'll just wait until it dries out a little bit and uh, continue. Well at least we haven't missed anything today, we got to see them take off and depart, so that's all good as well.
worse, isn't it? Right, I'll tell you what we'll do, ladies, shed steady bears. We, yeah, it's getting worse. Right, what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll do a part two. Why not? We'll be here all day for the ride, all right. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. Right, one sec. It looks absolutely grim down there. 